Well, um, last week we talked to Harry Poulton, or two weeks ago, I guess, when I was home, we talked about Harry. You guys have never met uh, Dominic. Um, this is his uh, musty brother. <laughs> So yeah, I did meet him once, right? Yeah. Um, so Dominic and I have known or, or known each other for a very, very long time. Um, come up really as caretakers together in Montreal. So I've known Dominic uh, for a very, very long time, and and it's always nice to have people around the barn that, you know, one want to do well for themselves, but want to do well for you, for our stable, for the the greater good, so to speak. And I can assure you that very few people work harder than uh, than Dominic does. I know today. I got to the barn, he went with his colt in the second set, and then after we were done training the babies, then put six horses in the trailer, went down to Mohawk and trained, and I stayed and trained some horses at the barn. So I want to talk about those horses, I want to talk the, about the barn in general. It seems to me like we have, now some, we're probably going to send a couple of those horses over to Harry, but it seems to me we got for sure the best trotters we've had in a while, I think, in Ontario. It's a good bunch. A yeah. good bunch. The Pacers, I tell everybody, you know, uh, the little <laughs> filly there. You know, they're, they're nice horses. They're grassroots type, useful type horses. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that at all. And that's the one thing that everybody has to has to understand. Some of my favorite horses are the horses that are just useful, overnight, decent horses. Resolve, uh, the, the red horse, what was his name? Uh, Resolute. Resolute Bay was a uh, prospect, prospect too. horse at yep. two. So, again, just getting that getting that foundation underneath them so they can learn how to race and hopefully they mature and come forward. You know, I, I was about to mention my wicked heart. People forget how well she's bred. You know, and that was the thing that it's a little different pacing mares to trotting mares, uh, how they hold their value as, as brood mares. Yeah. But there is value there. When you look at her, yes, she wasn't an expensive yearling, but there's a story behind that. She was a book two uh, yearling that was small. She's a small filly. But, again, when you look at the stature of her family... I, I don't mind my wicked heart. I haven't sat behind her in a little while, but everybody I sit, that I talked to about her said, one, she's getting better, and two, she tries. She wants to do her yeah. work. And that is the first and the, the first and the last hurdle they have to go over is the will to do their work and do it well. So um, let's talk about some of the horses. I talked, to, I talked to Harry this morning and updated everybody in a video about some of the horses and where they're at and how they're coming. I told everybody I trained Vaquero Blue Chip in the race bike today. I thought he was really good. I trained ready for landing. I know you wanted to go in 214 in the jog cart. We didn't get there. <laughs> we ended up in... I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. So I Dominic... Have to gave second half for I, I love... Dominic is super conservative. And it's almost... I know. I know you have a calendar somewhere at home. You're like, 214 this day and 209 and 3 the next time. And I told him it was a beautiful sunny day. Yeah. Ready for landing was going to train today. And I was going to go first trip and see how he seemed in the first trip. And that would literally paint the picture of how the last trip would look. And I went a mile and two three. I missed fourteen. I went a mile and two three last half in yeah. fifty nine, which is a big mile over Stutzman. I will say this: in the past, first line has been deep, so that's a massive mile. The track was, yeah, was very, firm, very good today. Yeah, it was firm. The horses were getting over it well. So I don't want to just generalize and say, "Well, it, this is what kind of mile it was at Mohawk." It was a good mile today. No, no, the track Not, was there yes. today. So two three with Vaquero, two three with. Uh, uh, um, Ready for landing, and I went a mile on two nine with uh, the big fat filly did there. Know. I don't, did not know, right? I called her. I don't know. Her name's did not know. Um, so clearly, I don't know. So um, those are the three that went in the race bike today. The babies, you guys saw the videos from this morning. Very, very happy with um, Resolve. Indeed, looks like a monster. Chicago Hall looks like a monster, and Woodmere Betcha for my maritime partners. You know, you guys have been waiting. She's been making breaks and just finding her way forward. And I sat up on her today and dropped the hammer on her. And man, did she ever respond? What a nice failure! I think I she's okay. she's she is. And and again, without running down the the other pacers, she's the best pacer I think we have in Ontario right now. Is the Maritime Philly? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Officer no, no, Soldier no, no. Boy, no. nice call. Uh, my wicked she's, heart. She's got the desire more than the others. She's, she's got, got that edge to yeah. her too. My wicked heart, nice Philly. Um, who's the other pacer I'm missing? I'm forgetting about one. Who's the one? Oh, Masha was off today. Yeah. She's a nice filly, too. I like Masha. I think once we get her squared away, we're going to have some fun with her. And we did pair but, her into all the For the P.I. Stuff. Mary, I told you, I said, since we, I sit behind her, I said, there's not five like that in P.I. No, guaranteed. Yeah, she's. If, she, there, if there is, it's a good yeah, year. <laughs> yeah, it, she she's. Uh, and also for my partners, uh, after the video, I had a number of people message me. They have like a, a watered down version of the Mohawk Millions. 
per pacers down there also. Really? Yeah, it's six thousand to pay in. It goes for fifty, so it's not a super great deal. But um, I think it's a it's a stake that we're probably going to mull over over the weekend. We got nine days to worry about it. But the filly that I trained today, whew, she she can dance. So we talk about the babies. Obviously, I tout Danny O'Brien. You know, Danny is a super old horseman from the Maritimes and has always played kind of a flagship role with the babies, whether I was there and he was playing that, that supporting role or when you and him are doing them now. I just, I think Danny's done such a, the thing I love about Danny, him and I don't always agree with equipment and chewing, and I don't care about that stuff, but the work ethic, mm-hmm. right? Danny puts the work into them, and that is the most important thing. James and I talk about it all the time. James like, what about doing this or doing that? I don't get too worked up at this time of year when it comes to the babies. As long as they're doing their work, one, they're willing to do it, and two, they're happy when they come off the track. They eat their feed. They jog good the next day. The work is the most important thing, and um, that's the one thing you don't have to worry about with Danny. Always, Harry, you, everybody gets the work because you understand. And in the easiest saying, in the oldest saying in this industry, you get out what you put in. If you're going to half-ass it and take days off and not work, don't be surprised at what the final well, final result of your final product looks like come June yeah, or July. Take it you get out what you put in, and that's that. So. Uh, I want to talk to you about some of your horses because we don't always get to chat about, uh, especially with our clients, about how they're growing. We talked about the babies. Everybody knows the babies are going pretty good. I'm happy with the babies. But what about some of the some of the race horses? I know. Um, so let's start with the horses that did qualify. Did you do anything qualifying this week or? Yeah, yeah great bet. Great bet. Mm-hmm. I took his blood. Yeah, and uh, I even took his uh, tie rod. It's first time in my life that I will do that. But, I, uh, I think what we might need to take is that testicle. I don't know, but he, he, um, uh, he and, there's, and before, there's, there's so here's the thing, thing. I'm going to tell you right thing, now. Okay? I, know, I don't want to, because last year when we yeah. have to, we have to, you know, make him a little bit, uh, rev him up. And I know right. that's not your and forte. No, 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 no. But we did it. We did it. Every if time. I was to bet, if I was a betting man, but just hold on. If I was a betting man, I would bet $100 to your 10 that he had an ear hood on when he, or ear plugs on. Not, not retractable ones. When no, no, he had, he had retractable one. Mario didn't put it. <laughs> yeah. But but the, the but the thing is the thing is is last year when we um, first raised that horse, yeah, we had to really you know because he's a goofy horse and he's not never paying he's attention. Lazy. So yeah, yeah. So you have all the time to really. Um, you know, I went with him the week before. You understand what and, I, and, and so, you have to wake him up. Wake him up. Yeah. But at the point, before, more and more he was going to the races, more and more he was aggressive. For James He's aggressive at the gate, and yeah. this is the one thing. And I told everybody this. Uh, so you have to understand, Dominic, if, for not being old, I guess we're both old now, but for not being old, old <laughs> horse people, he comes from the oldest school where just get them to the races quiet. You know how it annoys me how James qualifies horses. And that's just because... In the old school, in the old men, the old school of thought, you used to get them to the race easy and then let the drivers, you know, pick them up over the first two starts of the year. That doesn't fly at the stable. And Dominic and I have talked about that. When they go to the track, they are to be ready to rock. And that goes against uh, the, the way that you were trained, right? And I don't. Did you only work for Jean? I'm just uh, asking. Yeah. Because there was a time when you and I were yeah, detached. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. So, After that, I went on my own. But, yeah. oh, right, that's right, too. So Jean Beaulieu is, uh, was a great trainer, super old school guy. I see him every year. I run across him. Every summer, I run across Jean Beaulieu. I find him somewhere. I think I was in Monticello racing in a stake race or Vernon mm-hmm. somewhere, and I and I hear him. I see him. Have you seen him in a while? Yeah, it's been a while, man. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah anyway, awesome. great old horseman, but, but super conservative, much like Dominic. And I have to keep reminding... Dominic and yeah, James. Yeah, I had Eve. I had Eve Filion. Yeah, Eve Filion, so yeah, so yeah. So you know, it's always like, so it's the way it is. But yeah. and, and it's for us when. So here's here, So I want to, I want to explain myself just yeah. so everybody understands. When I see a line of Great Bet one fifty nine beat seventeen likes, what happens is I say, ah, he'll qualify him again next week. No big deal. But the people watching this, right? I start getting emails and messages. I don't know. I is everything happen. okay I with Great Bet? Something is Great Bet okay? Hey, what happened with Great Bet today? Do you think Great Bet will be all right this year? Nonstop. <laughs> and and get, these know. are the things that and and what I what I what I say to Dominic and what I say to Harry and James is please remember, we are the only stable, not the only stable, but we are definitely a stable that constantly has an audience, 
right? And that that's the big takeaway. So for me, I'm not worried. I saw a great bet in the stall today, right? Big, uh, big jumping lazy, around, he's yeah, frustrated. Exactly. After the race, he didn't, he didn't blow a match. So he didn't. him, he's difficult. When you go to turn in the gate, he acts like he's a big bully, right? And he likes to take off. I think the best thing to do, especially when you're at Mohawk, Right, you know when they're the things counting down, you put them up in behind the gate. Just have them walking on the inside. And I told James this too, but and, and if they can't go them next week, he'll walk. Just let him walk, and then go out and put his nose in the gate. Because if you're the last one coming in, he gets his head down, and then he wants to bolt right, and he gets right up on top of the gate. But if you walk him up and put his nose on the gate, he doesn't do that at all. But you do got to turn him on. And I knew I'm not worried about it. He's going to get another qualifier. I think we both know what the blood's going to come back. Meg came back clean. Yeah, exactly. Came back, exactly. Came back super clean. Well, there you go. I, I, tell, so, I, told, so. I told Chris, I said, don't send me back the, the yeah. answer until it's a, a GGT as a 150. Yeah. I knew. Okay? I knew. I said, don't when send said, me back. When you said, oh, I'm going to take his blood, and then I saw him today in the style, I'm like, I know what his blood's going to say. Yeah, He's lazy. He just is a, a lazy horse. One, that's indicative of the all bets off, I think, for a lot of them. They're a little laid back and a little lazy, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you want to, like, this is, the, I warm up for Luke there last year. I yeah. warm up his brother that they pay a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, we have the other brother, greatest ending. He's not lazy. Okay, but I, I guarantee but you he's the one a that, I, that I warm up for him yeah. is a better line, I think. Yeah, he's a runaway, I think, isn't he? No, 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 no. Oh, no, lazy? Yeah, lazy. Oh. Uh, I phoned him and I said, sorry, I said I could not go faster than that in the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's a good horse. They give a lot of money for that horse, by the way. That, that entire family they pay a fortune for. So I am I'm, i didn't give a lot for a great bet. I'm super happy with him. And if he's going to be lazy to the next level right now, I remember why he's originally, right? I remember it was Cindy that remembered this. He had he was operated on when he was a baby. They only ha He only has one testicle. Yeah. He doesn't have one up inside. Oh. He's not a Ridgeling. He's a... He's a gal that he's a stud right now that they operated on and took one testicle out because he's so well bred they left one in him, uh, but he has one in him right now. So realistically, if he's going to be lazy, listen, we can castrate him, but I'm not that worried about it. If you just get away fifth and sit fifth with him, he's going to dog it, right? You, if you have him revved up like it's race day and you race him, different horse, right? And we saw that when we raced him last year. When you have him climbing over the gate and you have him coming off the car and he's up front and he's up close and he's close to the action, different horse. You drag him back to, and, and not not making fun of Mario. That's how you're supposed to qualify him, but he's not. Oh, we had nice horses yeah. qualifier too. Yeah. He's, he's not, that's not his <laughs> preferred tool. Yeah, yeah, million, 100%. So, uh, great bet qualified. Not worried about great bet in the least. Um, who else we got? Who else do you school? Oh, George. George, George made a break in the George qualifier. Made, made, yep. uh, in the schoolers. In the schoolers, uh, yep. Just, okay, the first time he saw the gate probably yep. in the... Uh, well, he only ever saw the Grand River, right? <laughs> so, yeah. And, he, and James make it perfect because he, he made beyond the car. So, yep. the, the worst action he had yep. for, uh, you know... Mm -hmm. I don't think he went to Grand River. I'm not me too. They oh, said maybe, to me, maybe I think right. he never saw Cindy was the one that said he went to Grand yeah, River, and I, I just I just agreed with her. I don't think he I don't think he went. He was we he, stopped with him. Yeah. No, she might be right. He might have went. We can check the video. That's good. But it, it didn't seem many. You points. might have had a concussion that day. You don't know if he was there. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't remember him too yet. Um, just let me know if you want me to warm her up because she ran the other day. Oh. Oh, that's kind of rude. Oh, it's really well, yeah. she ran she, loose, she was, and then she was She was in heat up. horribly. She qualified great. I'm going to have to qualify her with the... I'm going to have to train her with the hobbles Monday morning before the draw to figure if we're going to put the hobbles on her or race her without them. She's a stake race on Thursday. And uh, I, I want to leave them off her, but I need her to be handy also. And the uh, pitch the other night, I don't care. But her qualifier also, I just had to watch her coming off the car. I would rather put the hobbles on a horse and know that you can leave out with them then have to watch them coming off the gate. So I'm going to train her Monday and see how, see how she is. So uh, George made a break. James told me, he said, I'm not worried about it at all. He'll be no, fine. He was not. Do you plan to qualify him or school him again? Uh, if, uh, James, the word of James, he was really happy with him and said, put him in a qualifier. Good. So we go in okay. qualifier. I know that he, um, he trained good. He, he trained, like the first time he went to Mohawk, he trained like a classy horse. Yeah. Well, so, he's a good looking horse yeah. and he is decently bred. He's, he's decent. Down. Yeah, and those horses. If you take your time, those horses with the pigeon toes, their knees usually settle down, and once they settle in, they're fine. Yeah. I bet you you'll rarely have a problem with him sit moving back forward. Here, not clean, so just ignore me. Okay. Well, why don't we clean after? Why don't we do that? Because the camera's pointed up here. <laughs> Nobody really knows what's going on back there. Just saying. Uh, so qualifiers, schooler, and that was it for schoolers and qualifiers. Yeah, this weekend. So today, you went to Mohawk. Let me yeah. tell everybody what took place at Mohawk today. Okay, so we got the uh, first training was uh, Jayport with Winner's Bell. 
So Jayport okay. Beach Boy and Winter Bells. So a lot of people asking where they're at. And we'll get to another horse because I had kind of married the other McWicket filly with Jayport and thought that they were at the same training level, but she just started training back, right? Oh, uh, um, Mick Paisley. Mick Paisley. Mick Paisley, yeah. And, uh, yeah, she's, we, um, back off with her a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, I asked Teresa who she had her in fall to. She's a little heavy. Yeah. But she won't lose her weight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. She will lose her weight, but yeah. So she's a little bit behind. She's, she's going to be, be I said about six weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah about like six that. weeks. Yeah. Uh, but Jayport Beach Boy is at Mohawk. Sorry, keep going. Yeah. Jayport, no, Beach, Jayport Boy. Beach Boy, Winner's Bell. Uh, really happy with Winner's Bell because she, finally she settled down perfect. Yeah. You know, I said with her two in a hole and for the first time I move her down the stretch. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get the same level of Jayport, she yeah. took off by herself oh, after good. that. So I was I, I was happy with that. Okay. We went a mile in two six, and uh, last quarter I think it was twenty nine and one. So like what's that. your plan with those two, Jay Port? And Next week two 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 three, and after that go into qualifying. Okay, okay, so that's good to hear. Uh, who are the other ones? There's six, right? Don't talk about uh, Bruno. We we no no uh, not don't talk. Uh, don't talk about Bruno. Widespread panic and my filly of mine. Okay. My own filly. So we went a mile in two six with them. Widespread panic cut the mile. Uh, Bruno said in two hole uh, down the lane uh, after the turn widespread panic made a break mm -hmm. John and, told and after that uh, Bruno and my filly we went and finished there went a mile and two six but this trip it was a uh, her trotter were, were, were pretty solid because we were coming back at half a minute and a minute mm -hmm. so what's the plan with panic are you gonna put the hobbles on him or leave yeah, him yeah he's gonna have to do okay. on so two six. He did everything. He never made a break so far in his uh, training. Then no, it's fine. Never made a break, and it was not in a position that he was like, uh, like Johnny was not in a position that he was like, uh, you know, if you're in metal turn, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, we were down straight away, and we were we were not even started to get like to really rock, yeah, really rock. I don't know. He could not explain, and and he looked great. He probably, probably just switching gears. He touched himself a lot of. That. He he used to get out a little bit in the straights too. Well, when we had him, so that was a long, long time ago, but. Uh, so those horses were good. That's and after that, we had trained Allie and Cloud. Allie and Cloud's actually, Johnny said she was good. So I, I I'd painted the picture a little bit. I'd said to Dominic, you know, her ASC was still 2,500. But yeah. that's old muscle. That will, yeah. You can work on that throughout the week. He said she was still on the left line. Yeah. Uh, you did her knees and her left ankle. Um, generally, I know Mike loves to do stifles. Mike's probably watching this video. If he's watching the same. She's off the left line last year. She yeah. always was, oh, yeah. Really she always shows something left yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny thought a little bit left front and left hind today, but uh, and you had just done her knees. You had said, yeah. right? Before her last, last, since her last start, we did the knees and the one ankle up left, the left ankle. Oh, left front ankle. Left front ankle. Oh, yeah. I see. So, um, listen, I'm sure you guys will get it squared away. She's still trotting good. For her to be in the wind by herself and go no, 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 was a that was it, a hell of a mile because yeah. she's not the by herself training type. She never was anyway. No, she, but she's started to learn yeah, everything now. Yeah, that's a good mile for her. So that's a big mile for her coming into next week. And she has a lot to learn. It's the SBOA next week, right? No, uh, no the Spring Series. Oh, thank God. Because the SBOA might go 54. She's just got a little no, learning. No, Spring Series, we got it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So Spring Series is a... It. Actually, I think I paid George into the Spring Series and the... It doesn't matter. I don't care if he misses it or not, but... I think he's paid in the city of London and yeah, this was going. Yeah, this yeah. will be going May. So that is the trainers for today. That's the schoolers. How is everybody? Else? Oakwood Cowboy. People asking me all the time. I told them that you told me he was ninety percent the yeah. other day, and he's getting better. He's getting better every day. So yeah. it's uh, I don't know how you can call that. Well, it's not uh, a broken bone. That's no, right. no, it's not don't a broken bone. Even better. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it, would, it would never. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think he's just a sore-footed horse. Maybe I didn't even realize, or you didn't realize, how sore-footed he was. And I think the combination of that, maybe, um, maybe, maybe because he was training so well and yeah. like, you know, everything was really good with him. Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, whatever. We just got to get him rolling. And, and listen, he is what he is for my partners out there, you know, and it's, it's very callous to say, but truthful, we're going to buy some Oakwood Cowboys and we're going to buy some Texan Sopranos who weren't off the same sale price. Oakwood Cowboy was 62, I think. And Texan was 76, so a little bit, but same type of thing, infinitely different animals. Okay. And listen, we're we're going to strike out. And we're going to hit home runs along the way, and that's yeah. the that's the weird thing, uh, the weird thing about horse racing. But it also is what makes it so great is that you can find 
really, really. If it would have been that easy, though. <laughs> we would definitely not own any good ones because all the richest people in the world would have them all. You're 100 percent correct. Uh, so mm-hmm. Oakwood Cowboys at 90 percent uh, and coming forward. Um, yeah. Who else do we got? Train, uh, training down wise after that, it's uh, we started. The, he was really sound. Uh, James Archer. Oh, James Arthur. That's my dad's horse. Yeah, I didn't yeah, ask I him about him. Yeah. James Archer. I jog. Yeah. jog today. That's yeah. Arthur. We don't. It's Arthur. 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 Yeah. Okay. Arthur like was King really Arthur. Yeah. King Arthur was really sound. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he still has an appointment to make this next week to make sure. Melissa, that yeah. So the vet had okay. asked. He actually had fractured two bones. He had a line in a coffin bone and a line in a sesamoid. And Dr. Le- or Dr. McKee had asked that she just have a look at him before we start moving forward. You don't want it to be kind of healed when you start training. I mean, it has to be healed. And uh, the place where the lines were, she thought it wasn't a big deal. He's been given enough time. Yeah. You guys swam him forever. Swim so forever now. so uh, happy to hear that. And I know Dad will be happy also. What else we got? Anything? After that, the uh, race horse talking? No, that's it. Oh, how's gas? Everybody's going to want to know about all gas, no okay. brakes. Okay, this uh, healing process is going all right. We removed the stitches. There is nothing than just the healing process of the own horse like yeah. said, uh, by himself. Oh, that's good. There's no um, there's no infection. There's no nothing. So, so he, the plan is what? To jog him for So next so. week, he start, then it will start. We'll start slowly and yeah. see how his legs answer. Yeah. But uh, next Thursday. Yeah. It's going to be three weeks now. Okay. All right. Um, so the, the issue with gas was he had sliced his ankle in. Normally, if it had a missed by a half an inch or so, it would have just been a cut that needed to heal. But because of its its uh, proximity of the of the the, the, the tendon sheath, sheath yeah. that sheath, if you get any sort of infection in there, it can it can really hamper the horse to the point where you might lose the horse. And through infection, if it gets in there, I've seen horses that has destroyed them. So. Dr. Cote was correct and, and Dr. Rosenbacher was correct also in sending the horse to have it completely healed up. They flushed the tendon sheath, they sutured it, made sure that it's starting, to, it's it's got the right foundation to heal properly. So it's not that it's a, a bad injury, but it's just the the placement. If it had been a, just a hair. You know, it looked like King County. Perfect, same thing. Yeah, he did that again, you know. Oh yeah? Yeah, there was a scar on him when I picked him up and I forgot that Stacy said he had hit the back of his ankle and slice the back of his ankle. But there's a horse, mm-hmm. didn't really miss any time because of, again, wasn't as close to the tendon sheath in those areas. Had missed it by maybe a half an inch, a quarter of an inch, but every little bit counts and it was just too close for comfort. So we wanted to be safe with him. The horse isn't at a break in a million years anyway. So uh, unfortunately he's not gonna get to go to Mexico and lay on a beach, but he's gonna have a couple, he's gonna have a few weeks <laughs> yeah. of easy work just to relax and take it all in. So gas uh, was good. I was just looking quick. Anybody else we got to talk about down here? Oh, I get this stupid part of the site like Amy had up. Ever since you signed into my account on there with your with your uh, username, you just it's, don't go in that one. That's the one that allows. No, you to I got to sign out. Add stuff. Yeah, I just got to sign in. Is all I got to do. There, just put it here. Anyway, um, I was very very happy to hear about. Um, to see the babies today because um, obviously it's it's although I completely trust what you and Danny are doing it proofs in the pudding right I want to see the horses too and see how they're doing uh, Woodmere Betcha blew me away today how good she was amazing looking filly especially you know I'm taking into account where she's going right she's going to the Maritimes and not to diminish the Maritimes in any way but it's not like you really have to put those fillies up against Pennsylvania breads or Kentucky or New Jersey or Ontario just a number no? yeah uh, it's, how it's, much how many they have bred over there 16 oh I have no idea I have no idea. It's kind of a situation like Quebec. You know? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But they uh very, very pleased with her and how she's looked. But I like her her killer instinct. That's impossible to, to train into a horse. No, 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 no. And no, no. she was no. she was That's on sure. point and today. Since day one, since day she one. must have been watching the video. She videos. was a killer just to she walk knew, her. She, she knew. <laughs> she was a killer just to walk Yeah, her. she's really nasty yeah. in the barn. But she, is she getting any better? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. she's really oh. nice. But it was something. And I, and I told them, I said, she must watch my videos because I was going there today. I wanted to see what she was up to. And she picked the right day to shine. I can tell you that. She looked good today. Very impressed with her. Resolve indeed. We're going to do our top 10 list in a minute, Amy and I. But super impressed with what I saw today out of Ontario. The horses I trained, ready for landing, look great. Uh, I said just maybe put that chain in his mouth. I think I think I never was a big fan of it. You know, yeah. We're going to go in qualifier. No, I don't care. It's yeah. fine with me. You know, and somebody asked me, what's the plan? The plan is to get him racing. 
you know, ready for landing is going to earn his way into wherever he goes. If he goes to this wag, if he goes to the Beal, if he goes to New Jersey, that's up to ready for landing. And if he's not up to the task, there's lots of racing here for him. And the Nomar's a two, Nomar's a three. I don't really care. And he's going to be a good horse. I just don't know how good. I don't think you do. He, no one does. He may not know how good he is, but we're all going to find out together soon enough. Uh, really happy with his training mile today. Happy with Vaccaro Blue Chip heading into Friday, Harry's horse. And uh, wasn't disappointed with uh, with did not know. You know, a long way to go before you're saying she's this or she's that. But not disappointed with her uh, with her at all today in her training. So that is Dominic. Uh, he's clearly unshaven. We're heading out to supper. <laughs> We're heading out to supper with Curtis and his family. We're gonna. It's a beautiful day. It's one thing I yeah. loved about it. It was a beautiful day in Ontario. Not much beats training a bunch of horses on a nice day. No. Not much. And uh, it was a great day here in Ontario. So thank you for that. We're going to pile the kids in. Amy and I are going to get our top 10 lists in. And then we are going to dinner. So I'll let you guys go. I will talk to you all very soon. Very rarely we get to we get to talk with everybody. We'll try and get Jason Merriman nailed down next week. And, and Jason McGinnis again did the two-year-old video with us last week, I think, Amy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we like to get in touch and talk to all our trainers. And maybe uh, I should have got Eric before he went down. But... Um, at some point this summer, I'm going to drive down to Kentucky. You should take, if you're going to take a couple of days off, we'll come, to Kentucky, to, yeah. come to Kentucky. Uh, Oak Grove's cool. I found out that it's not a super kid-friendly. Yeah, Lexington's nice, too. It's a little longer to Oak Grove, but really, really nice place also. And, and, and Nashville was fun. So with that, I'll let you guys go. I will talk to you all soon. Have, <clears throat> have a wonderful weekend. I hope wherever you are, it is as beautiful as it is here today in Guelph, Ontario. Take care.